Carberry takes the ride on unguided missile and currently trading at 10 to 1 the top rate a little bit of a grey monk barometer Young Huster at 12 to 1 ridden by Chris Moore Young Huster is running in his sixth consecutive festival a call at 8 to 1 Robert Thornton inch Kaylock 11 to 1 Richard Dunn Woody number five on the card is River Mandate 9 to 1 Andrew Thornton what a hand 12 to 1 Timmy Murphy even flow down to 130 Nick Fitzgerald rides some Melian Fairway 14 to 1 and that's written by Norman Williamson. Destin Destival at 10 to 1. Adrian Maguire, give me 5, 6 to 1. Charlie Swan. Glitter Isle, 16 to 1. Philip Hyde, tell the nipper, 11 to 2. Conor O'Dwyer on this blinkered run up. And love you, Frank. Up 24 pounds since he started winning. 6 to 1 chance, Tony McCoy. Race away then, 19 fences to jump, and a cold takes the early lead to unguided Miss Island's Caleb. Young Huster, normally a front runner, has the rail berth, but only in fourth place as they take the first. They're all over safely. Give me five. Here's the back marker. But it's a cold tearing along on the outside of Unguided Missile. Inch Kaylock and Young Hustler, followed by St. Nellian's Fairway. Then River Mandate, even flow, Destin Destreval, Glitter Isle and Water Hand. And after that one comes Tell the Nipper. And the back ones are Love You Frank and Give Me Five. They're at the second. And what a mighty leap there by Unguided Missile. Now written by Paul Carberry. Because uh, poor old Tony Dubbins were taken to hospital. They swing their handed then race down the hill. And it's still unguided missile. A cold one and two. And what a hand got a couple of sharp reminders after landing over the second fence. Unguided missile from Inch Kalock and Ockhold. And unguided missile not too clever at that. And there's a faller back in the field there. Destin and it's Destin Destreval who's on the deck after that uh, fence. On towards the next. And it's the water jump. And it's unguided missile on the near side of Ockhold. And then in third is Inch Kalock from Gimme Five and Young Hunt. And then a couple of lengths to even flow back in the field. River Mandate just struggling to go the gallop a little bit. On towards the open ditch now. An unguided missile pops over from Arkhold and Inch Kaylock. Then Young Hustler towards the inside as they continue on their journey down the far side. St. Million Fairway, the horse with the white cap there on the outside as they take a plane fence in about fourth place, travelling quite well. Tell the nipper wasn't too fluent at that. And still River Mandate in those yellow colours is struggling to go with them. They're about to take a left hand and turn towards the top of the hill and a big open ditch now and it's unguided missile on the near side of Ockhold, St. Million Fairway out wider than Inch Kaylock in the centre of frame as landing in fourth place from Young Huster, Tell the Nipper and then Love You Frank from uh, behind these even flow, a reminder there on landing for Young Hustler, right out the back is River Mandate with Water Hand as they reach the top of the hill and approach the next which will be fence number eight. Give me five, even uh, more remote than these. Uh, Destin Destreval and Adrian Maguire safely on their feet, and the partnership reunited, making their way back towards the stands. This unguided missile, the blue jacket leads, a cold look further left, the green and white stripes leads, some million fairway, the black jacket with green embellishment in Caleb. Racing in four, tell the nipper in white and red going five. Love you, Frank is in six, with a mandate, a slight mistake there. And judge for yourself how far Gimme Five and Charlie Swan are behind as they come down uh, towards fence number nine. This will be two out next time round in this William Hill National Hunt chase at eight. Ooh, unguided missile sent the Berkshire flying a bit, but still just has the edge. Big horse. I'll call the outside tip one and two. Then we got to Young Huston, normally a front runner in third. Uh, Inch Kaylock runs in four, a million where fairway five. Even flow the pink cap nodding along nicely. That's a midfield run. Tell the nipper is out wide, followed by Love You Frank. Glitter Isle the inside. They're more than six lengths off the leader who was much more fluid at that one. What a hand made a mistake and Gimme Five is still a street behind. It's uh, Unguided Missile, the top weight, who's doing his own work, heading away towards the 11th. And it's Unguided Missile that has the edge. Two are cold in second and Young Huster and Inch Kaylock and St. Melian's Fairway. With up on the outside, Tell the Nipper. Glitter Isle very quietly on this one through on the inner. Followed by Even Flow, Love You Frank, River Mandate, Water Hand, and really tailed off is Gimme Five, but they never give up. But uh, if that one wins, it'll be an even mind, a major miracle. Race away then with this row of four fences, and unguided missile still has the edge. With Ockhold in second, they've been one and two throughout as they clear the next tell the nipper. And Ockhold is down there, when in second place. The horse is up on his feet all right, but this has left unguided missile in front. By three or four lengths to tell the nipper, young hustler, Inch Kalock on the near side. Even Flo has made good headway now into fifth place. Glitteral has been travelling nicely throughout under Philip Hyde. 
side, but there's the leader, unguided missile, been in front all the way from Tell the Nipper for Ireland in second, a big open ditch, and the leader was really after a big jump there by Paul Carberry, and unguided missile responded, lands two lengths clear of Tell the Nipper in second, they head towards the next, another plane one, the two up front, a three lengths in front of Inch Kalock as they clear this, and then back to Young Hustler, even flowing Glitter Isle, a gap to Love You Frank, as they now climb towards this big open ditch once again on the top of the hill and up front is unguided missile by two lengths to tell the nipper in the blue headgear out wide inch kalock on the inside of young hustler then even flow making stealthy headway as they clear the ditch glitter isle was next and these six are a long way clear of anything else tell the nipper went badly out to the right jumping that one an unguided missile has got a handy looking lead three or four lengths to tell the nipper in second place and then inch kalock towards the inside followed by young hustler glitter isle still there with a chance and even flow at Kelso uh, just over a week ago the leader here on guided missile went stride for stride with the grey monk so this is a grey monk barometer unguided missile but tell the nip of the outsides one and two give me five has been pulled up here we are three out in the William Hill National Hunt chase unguided missile with uh, tell the nipper getting close to those each way bets looking good the favorite the pink cap even flow is getting closer as well glitter isle isn't out of it and they've got two to jump they're closing in to the second last unguided missile a spare for Paul Carberry has taken it with both hands with uh, tell the nipper Conor Edouard on the outside in third place into second place now is even flow with uh, glitter isle behind these but he looks round as Paul on unguided missile one more fence to jump for the top weight unguided missile clear by about eight to ten lengths to even flow and then with that one is glitter isle tell the nipper in fourth this is the last unguided missile up but over even flow dives and he gets away with it glitter isle staying on very well indeed tell the nipper back in four young hustler five but the william hill national hunt chase goes to unguided missile his first win of the season his tenth in all paul carberry comes home on a spare triumphant glitter isle safely through into second even flow in third tell the nipper for is fourth, the fate of all good each ways. Young Hustler in five, and River Mandate lugging on up the hill will take the next place just in front of Inch Kalock. St. Melian Fairway continuing, and what a hand completed but was a long way remote to this winner, St. Gui Unguided Missile, in the colours of Sir David Harrison. Trained by Gordon Richards and ridden by Paul Carberry at 10 to 1. Tony McCoy on Love You Frank. Faller at the top of the hill, but he seems to be okay. Walking wounded. Our winner, unguided missile, wins his 10th race. And a little bit of confidence being restored for the Greystoke Chargers now. So sad that Tony Dobbin couldn't take the ride. He has sustained an injury to a wrist earlier on in the afternoon. Second horse home here is Glitter Isle. I'm sure Josh Gifford will be placing that one to win in the not too distant future. Third horse home was even flow, a big gamble of the race. Those who were on early were on each way. Isle at 10 to 1. Second number 11, Glitter Isle at 20 to 1. Third number 7, even flow, the 7 to 2 favourite. The totes, the win paid £12.80, places 3.30, 6.30 and 1.90. Dual forecast, £138 and the computer straight forecast, £180 and 94 pence.